All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Snake River Cabins, just a few miles south of Jackson, Wyoming. This is the main area, which has a store, restroom, little TV lounge area, and also the office check-in. Little bear trying to peek in the window there. We're gonna take a look around real fast. Hey, there, Hi. Smelled popcorn. This is a little recreation area. TV. I put my mask on. I'm just showing people around. Oh, yes. Nice little store they have here. There's some collectors. They also sell ice, ice cream. The restrooms are through here. Water. Soups, last minute things you might need. And I myself am gonna pick me up some potato chips. Alright, so we're gonna go out the back door into a little area here got places for kids to play yeah just about everything a little fire pit here and i forgot what my daughter called that game it says corn toss i think she called it cornhole but yeah you can play adults play kids can play there's another game over there you toss little rings All right, so you can't drive down there. Maybe I'll drive down to the river for you in a little bit. I'll show you that. But it pretty much wraps it up. Everybody here is super friendly. The staff does whatever you want. I said hi, he said, hey, anything I can do for you? So we're gonna go ahead and cut through. But before we do that, here's some other cabins that look different. They're right next to ours. I'm not quite sure what they have inside them, but they look a little bit bigger. Everybody has a fireplace, center fireplace. Really nice. Actually, it looks like there's two stories in that one. Okay. All right, we've reached our cabin, spot number 13. We're in a little cul-de-sac type area. We've got six houses all together, little cabins. Quite cozy. You have two gas grills or fire pits. So just for the ambiance and see out here at night, and each, everybody's got a table. The table's are real light, so in case you want to move that table a little closer to the fire pit, you could. Everybody's got their own charcoal grill. I saw them coming by here and clean them a little bit ago. So that's what it looks like on the outside. All right, we're gonna take you inside here in a minute. All right, folks, we're gonna take a look at our inside of our cabin. Got a queen size bed. We also have lights here for the, a fan and your light switch. Pardon the mess. We was working on her videos. I'm working on one of my YouTube videos, which you'll see shortly. Have a nice television, sink area, microwave. Nice refrigerator with a separate freezer. Nice size. You also have silverware, plates. All they ask is that you wash your own and they do provide you with dish soap, pots and pans. This is our bathroom. What I really like about this place, to get sidetracked, is the attention to detail. I suffer from OCD and you go places that everything's cracked, broke. There's no blemishes here. There's the bathroom. Same thing with here. But we'll just get out of the shower so it's a little steamy in here. There's no caulk lines like you see in a lot of the hotels. Your toiletries, towels, nice bathtub, shower. Give you extra towels. Over to the right on this particular cabin is made for up to five people. We have a queen there. We're using this queen for our suitcase you have a nice bunk bed here place to tuck tuck things in there 
Again, look at the craftsmanship of how they make things. I am seriously impressed, and I don't get impressed very often. Can I do stuff with most CD and everything has to be perfect? This is perfect. Oh, and before I forget, one of the things I really like, I can sit on the bed, work on my computers. Each side actually has two plugs and they have a night light here. So I can work on this and not wake up Karen. Or if I have to get in the middle of the night in a strange place and need to see, I can have a light. I think that's really neat. We were at a hotel the other day. And I went to plug in my uh, computer. And I had to plug it on. Bzz, bzz. Not very good. Solid. Solid quality right here. One of the features I thought was extremely nice is when you have staying in the place for a couple days, you accumulate beer cans, soda cans, a lot of trash. Just bag up your trash set it on the corner of your building here and every day they will come by and pick it up for you is that convenient or what they know how to take care of their people here so these are some of the smaller cabins quite cozy they got little porch swings bears i think they're one room cabins each one has their own fire pit they sell firewood in the store a little charcoal grill you can cook some food Nice setup. Get out here with your neighbors, have a good time. These over here face the river. And we'll actually walk over there for a second here. These also have port swings. Snake River is right below you. There is a way to get down that way. And a couple trails to walk down. You can actually, as you can see right there, is a camping site. There's quite a few of them down there. You can drive down to camp right there on the river. They have their own fire pits. And you'll probably be able to see some wildlife out there. All right, folks, so between cabins number 35 and 36 is going to be a little walkway and it's going to lead to a set of stairs and I'm going to go down here and show you some of these campsites for those of you that like to camp camp all right so we've made it down here's site number 113 what I really like about it is all these sites where you camp your tent goes they're flat Everybody's got a picnic table, barbecue. There's a river right there. Kids love it down here, it seems like. Same thing, another you know, flat one, picnic table. It goes down a little bit more. This road you can actually drive down. It's one way. Let's go check out the river. Critter tracks coming down the side over there. No critters. That's the story of our life today, isn't it, Boo Boo? It is. <laughs> Wasn't All right. meant to be. Yep. All right, folks, the Snake River and all the camping grounds. They continue right on up and right on around. You can drive out that way. They also have several RV slots, electric, water, dark tank dump. And it's right behind the main store. Got a spot for everybody. Right, folks, I almost forgot about the laundry room. Let's go take a trip over there. All right, so right next to the main building is a laundry room. It has the same operating hours as the check-in office store. Oh, it says open 24 hours. So, okay, it is open 24 hours. Yeah, four washers, four dryers, ironing board. 
for places to hang your laundry. Washers and dryers, washers $2 for 30 minutes, dryers are $2 for 40 minutes. No smoking in here, please. All right, see what Boo Boo's up to. What you doing? Working on my pictures. What do so, you think about this place? I really like it. It's a uh, very clean. The staff is really friendly. Um, the Wi-Fi is excellent. I would never thought you got this kind of Wi-Fi out here, but you and do. we need it. Yes, and we need it. It's helped me get caught up. And what you got there? My Yogi bought me some cherry chunk ice cream, and it is mmm. Um, yes. All right. You recommend anybody stay here? I recommend everybody stay here. I recommend everybody stay here. Mm-hmm. All right. We were just talking the other day about the uh, prices. Somebody said, well, it's expensive to stay here, but you go down to Motel 6 in Jackson, and it's going to be even twice as expensive. Even so, more than that. It's like six fifty a night. Yeah. So yeah. For Motel 6. For Motel 6. Yep. So, hey, bang for your dollar right here, buddy. Yes, it is. All right. See you guys on the next adventure. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.